Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics. We've got Mark from Qualitex here again. Hello, Mark. Hi there. And today, Mark is going to show us how you heat seal a balloon. Mark, over to you. Fantastic. So we make lots of foil balloons that don't have a valve inside. Uh, predominantly uh, a cost to the customer. It's expensive to put a valve in okay. and therefore we can, with the smaller air filled balloons that won't float, um, it's relatively easy to heat seal. Yep. Um, you will need a pack or heat sealer uh, and this is one that we've, we've got here uh, and there's a heated strip inside that's covered and these are replaceable and you get an extra one in the or two or three in the in the pack because you say this is heated it's not hot now is it it's not hot to touch it's only hot when you depress and the electricity goes through the element and that that creates the heat okay okay um it's also got an adjustable dial on here and every machine will be slightly different. Okay. So there is some testing involved to get the right temperature. I do know for our microfoil balloons here, uh, just around the three uh, temperature setting okay. on this one is absolutely perfect. But okay. if you were doing mini air filled bubbles, you might want to reduce that because there's a lower uh, melting point temperature on the bubble material as opposed to the microfoil. So this is the sort of thing you can also seal polythene bags and polythene stuff like that. Polythene bags and uh, and everything. They're really useful. Yeah. Really useful. Okay. And uh, you know they're not they're, they're under a hundred pounds. They're not they're not expensive to buy. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the end effect is obviously to have a uh, a foil sealed with air um, that's very durable and lasts a very long time. I this think we had one of those. I think, is that the four inch heart? That's yeah. a four inch heart, yeah. We had one of those and I think it was inflated for something like four and a half years. It just sat on somebody's desk. We eventually got rid of it, but it just, it didn't go down one little bit. I actually have a, uh, a foot shape foil that I inflated for my son. He's now 14, coming 15. Wow, really? And it's still, still inflated. Wow. So quality balloon and, and heat seal properly, it will last for a very, very long time. So, um, what we need to do first, using our trusty Qualitex hand pump, is just inflate the balloon. So remember that um, this is a high pressure pump, and if you're not careful, you can you can actually burst a foil okay. pump in too hard. So once you've got the, the the pressure on, you can take that off mm -hmm. and drop that under. Notice that I'm leaving the pressure in the actual neck of, yeah. uh, of the balloon there. Because what I want to do is I want to seal that nice and close to the top by pressing down, holding for 10 seconds, and then that's sealed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it slightly, and just for security, I'm gonna do a second seal. All right, right. so you've just moved it down literally a couple of millimeters. Couple of millimeters, and then seal that again. And when you know that you've got a good seal, you can actually see across the plastic there that there's a mark and it's penetrated through to both sides yeah and that's how you know that you've got a really good really good seal okay so we also make lots of shapes yeah so i'll do one of our cupcakes again using the pump as a as a gauge of when it's actually full making sure that our cherries inflated at the top keep the pressure in the neck one seal close to the neck, and then actually remove the air that's in the rest. So why do you keep it down for 10 seconds? Uh, it's really to, there's no extra heat coming through, but I want the heat to penetrate perfectly and it to cool with the pressure on. Okay. There is a certain amount of back pressure in the balloon. Mm -hmm. So the pressure that I'm holding down on there is stopping that breaking, okay. breaking that seal until it's cooled down. And again, a second press and then you should have a really good seal. Excellent, Mark, thank you for that. That is how you heat seal a balloon. Bye.